30 seconds. Hey, sir. Oh! You're welcome. It is always my pleasure to come here and eat your grass. What up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Do you have any idea how much these shiplap boards are going for nowadays? You really live like this? What's up, Epic Minecraft imposter moga sus runescape epic Fortnite prankster? This is a random pigeon that just flew into our yard because it saw the other pigeons and thought, hello. So the pigeon army is finally coming back. Speaking of which, guess what? Finally came in the mail today. <laughs> Woo! The first shipment of pigeons is in. I have been waiting so long for this and they are even better than I thought they'd be. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I thought they were gonna suck. Look how cute this is. Sorry about making you guys wait two months, <laughs> but it takes a long time for these things to get made and shipped in from the far, far away places. I can't legally send you guys real pigeons. Uh, at least I don't think I can. A lot has changed since we last spoke. Whoa, was that hit rapper and artist? Sir, I am such a big fan of your work. It is so nice to meet you. Thank you for coming here each and every day and eating my grass. You're welcome. It is always my pleasure to come here and eat your grass as I make my music. Be sure to listen to my hit new song, Rockstar, in albums November 13th. I got a very big, exciting surprise for you guys in today's video. We're gonna be driving up and getting a bunch of free fencing supplies that, this, that have been sitting in this dude's field for years. And then we're gonna go and get an ostrich chick that has a screwed up leg. And then I'm gonna bring them all back. Then we're gonna have the Rhea, the Emu, and the ostrich chick. And I'm gonna show you how we take care of the bone deformities in all of their legs. Nothing is new that's happening with the chickens, except for the fact that they've been laying their eggs where they're supposed to for a change, but only there. I don't know why they're not laying it there, there, anywhere else. We are getting a lot more flies now because it's the summer. Mama, look at all. I moved all of our little chickens that aren't real I am Kamani's down here, and I'm gonna give those to friends and uh, sell for like $5, as long as people keep them as pets. Darcidius and his wife are doing well, and our three pigeons are also doing well. I love how she sits up there and roosts. That is the most friendly uh, Muscovy duck I've ever even seen. So the fact that she was at a public park just goes to show that she was absolutely abandoned. These are all of our I am Kamani chicks and Nugget's little daughter, who I love. Morgan is over here because Morgan was picking on them. Morgan doesn't pick on the emu. The emu is doing a lot better now which is great but i'm going to show you guys in the next video how i put a little bandage on there so i'm going to show you how we can correct their bone deformities Rhea actually prefers to be in here and the Rhea will drink the water here and, and eat the same food as the chick but to start i just give them a scoop this is what all of the big farming youtubers do so this is what i'm doing they, people don't use these for some reason i don't know why i don't know if people are just cheap but i propose this little system because i'd like to not have to <laughs> Nah, oh, dang it. Okay, well, good thing is I have a bag of crumbles inside that I can use for this. That's what I'm gonna fill this boy up with, is just the crumbles. Hey, Jed. Kevin, hey. Him and Karen are both good on food. Vinny is good on food and water. Where is Vinny? Oh, hello, Vinny, my little adorable doll. Hey, sir. <laughs> Poppy is now back under the barn. She hasn't been in here for a while, so I just decided to move the chicks in here. Poppy's still doing okay. She is now under the barn, and actually I've seen less rat. I am afraid that she'll come back and mess with these chickens, so what I did was I kind of sealed up little areas around where her, she dug her little holes. The baby, no, this isn't for you, son. For the ducks, I like to just do this. This just kind of goes right in there. I spill a little bit, but they eat that off the ground and the pigeons will eat it off the ground as well. That's it though, guys. Everything seems peaceful and happy. I'm gonna get that bandage on her really quick. So the emu has a slip tendon uh, and I put a little bandage on uh, earlier, but then I took it off during the day. So, cause I know she's gonna try and hop around a bunch. He has just a curved plate there. And what you can do is you can do surgery to fix it, but we will probably not be able to do that. You also can do is fix their diet and let them run around a lot. I am gonna let the uh, Rhea run around while I'm gone today. Kevin is just being Kevin. Okay, without further ado, let's go to Waco! What's up? And we're back at the Urban Rescue Ranch in Waco. As you can see, I did the lawn. Ever heard of it? Yeah, I have a lawn. Look how nice and cut it is, guys. Look at that. Take a look at what Uncle Ben did. Fuckers! What up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. Come on in. I've got half a floor. Ever heard of it? Yeah. I got floor joists. Yeah. I'm working on the foundation. Yeah, I went and got bottle jacks. Ever heard of them? So guys, what do you think? You really live like this? Yeah, that's right. I got a bathtub. This is shiplap. Ever heard of it? 
we're rich. Do you have any idea how much these shiplap boards are going for nowadays? We can make millions just selling this stuff. But yeah, guys, we're gonna lift up all this and replace some of the joists and uh, put in some new siding. Look how nasty this is. This is dangerous. Guys in the Patreon, welcome back to Uncle Ben Premium. Today, I'm gonna do what I promised. Thank you guys so much, all the new patrons. I love you, I appreciate you. This right here is one of the 50 ant hills that we have on this property. Let's take a look. All right, as you can see, we have some ants. As I promised, guys, so much for supporting our channel and the Animal Rescue. I love you guys. This is a fundraiser, all right? Uh, if you're on the Patreon, you're gonna watch the rest of this video. If you're not, you join the Patreon. I'm gonna do this for one minute. Corey, get the timer, Corey. Timer, get your watch out. Get your watch out. Three, two, one. Hey, hello. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh! Doesn't really even hurt. Oh! I got like 40 seconds. Oh, I do this for you guys because I love you and the animals. 10 seconds. I love you guys and the animals so much. Oh! Time, what's the time? 20 seconds. Oh! Uh, Pongers, get out of here, man. This isn't for you, this is, just, this is my cup. This is my cup. You can't drink the cup that I drink, Poggers. 30 seconds. Oh! And, and I just wanted to say thank you guys. Really love you, I appreciate you. Uh, it's just been a pure joy of mine to be able to stop doing my job full time and do this animal stuff for you guys full time. 40 seconds. And I just really, and I'm real thankful to God and everybody else that I'm able to do this for you guys. And it's just a joy of mine to be able to wake up, make these videos and show you guys, teach you guys about animals. And I really do love you. 50 seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. What is it? What is it? 60 seconds. All right. Uh, we're going to go up and get some free fencing stuff. And then we're going to rescue this little ostrich chick with a broken leg. Make a video where I show you guys how to take care of the broken leg. And then we're going to have actually all three of the main rat types that people typically farm here. Rhea, Emu, and Ostrich. We're going to have all of them as babies. And I'm going to show you guys the differences and how they're all kind of the same. How they all kind of experience the same issues when they're being farmed uh, commercially. I'll give you guys a little update in about 20 minutes whenever my hand is about the size of a balloon. Okay, lock the gate up. Take a look at all these little nice bumps that I have on my hand. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm a little into carpentry. Ever heard of it? That's right. I got all kinds of little bumps on my hands. I bet you wonder what that's from, huh? don't you? Don't you wonder what that's from? Only the Patreon people know. All right. We're out here in Northeast Texas. The destination is on your right. Hey, shut up, Siri. Right. All right. Uh, I think we passed it. We're gonna uh, be up here and get some piping. Corey got a boo-boo. Hoggers is being silly. And we're cutting up these bad boys. Look at this beautiful machine. Oh, because he thinks he's gonna act inappropriate. So. Uh, okay. I've been drinking White Claw all day. Oh yeah, baby. Wow, take a look at all this stuff. Think of all the things old Uncle Ben could do with these uh, these miscellaneous pieces of equipment. Just kidding, there ain't nothing we can do with all this hoo-ha. Okay guys, I'm going off by myself because if I can find a snake, I can sue them if I get bit. Wow, look at this old Jeep. I think this is salvageable. 